start off with uh, what can you tease about the upcoming season? Um, I can't really tease anymore. It's sort of just out. Uh, yeah. We'll have Ghost Rider in the season this year. Um, yeah. We're, we're coming, guys. We're promise. <laughs> we are. Uh, we're doing the Robbie Reyes version of the character, who is a young Latino man from East LA. Um, we were attracted to that because of that fact, um, just to see what he would be like in the dynamic of the show. Also, it's Ghost Rider with a flaming car. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> was the decision to add the character to the cast of X and after on the move to 10 p.m. Yeah, and either way, um, having that slightly later spot to be going to be allow you to do different things with the character. We're hoping that we can, you know, skew a little darker because of it. But uh, you know, there are a lot of all those decisions are sort of made at the same time. There are a lot of factors that went into it. Uh, one is that you know Doctor Strange is coming out, and if you're familiar with the comic, it's a sort of a different side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's going to be opened up and uh, you know we felt like now is the time to do this because it was it plays in that world it's it's not exactly the spy world we live in but we feel like with that entering the MCU this is us sort of dipping our toe into that world as we open things up um, and also it's Ghost Rider so it's like there's no real decision they said Ghost Rider is the end. We said yes. Oh wait you're giving that to us? Okay yes. Thank you. We, yes we will take it. Thank you. So would it be fair to say that Robbie's going to be a villain in this season, and if so, how how will that work for you from the ship, from this intensely personal, like, deeply rooted in, in a three-season arc, you know, villain that was bored and hive, um, right. moving on to someone new? Well, you know, we, we put a lot of things down at the end of the last year. We, 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 we closed off some storylines, and, and obviously some people died tragically or heroically. Um, so we need new, new stuff, um, but you know, we see, we've seen that Daisy has moved into sort of a vigilante mode of operation, and so you know, I think she's going to stumble upon some some new things in, in her adventures. It might be safe to say that Daisy and possibly Ghost Rider's path. Speaking of the end of last season, we kind of had like a really hard technological focus. So it, it seems like Ghost Rider's kind of like the polar opposite of that. Are we going to see that blend, or is it going to be kind of two separate? Well, you know, the, the, one of the things, and you'll see this in the movies that are coming, but uh, you know, in Thor they famously said, you know, Magic is just science we don't understand. And so, you know, as we've got, you know, the MCU started with Iron Man. He was a guy, a, a guy who built a suit, a smart guy who built a suit. And then, you know, when you put Thor into that world, it started to be like, how are these things going to work? And they, and they worked. And so they've started to open up into the world of sort of the fantastic. And, and we will be doing that this year in terms of sort of trying to blend the two and, and trying to see if, we're, if there are things we don't understand, why and then meanwhile we're building things that we do understand but maybe they we start to lose our understanding of them. The question you just asked is exactly what our team may be asking as they encounter something like this. We'll basically be trying to science why. The right. why of it's the question we were asking in the room of writers yes. on day one. Yes. <laughs> how do we fit this into our yeah. show? <laughs> You're speaking of the movies, how does the Sokovia Accords affect uh, your universe? Well, uh, you know, we, we have more power people on our show. You know, we started with none. Um, but I think that the dynamic in the world has changed. You know, there was, you know, one person with powers, and then by the Avengers, there were maybe six total in the world. I can't remember. Um, now they're much more prevalent, and so there's a reaction, I think, in and, the public based on this. And at the end of last season, with the six month jump that we showed you, it's very clear that many things have changed. And just Coulson stepping down as the director, from being the director, uh, is just an indication that within S.H.I.E.L.D. Things are different. Things are very different. And whether or not S.H.I.E.L.D. will help to carry out the Sokovia Accords, that's something you'll see. Um, yeah. Speaking of differences, actually, um, I was wondering if Simmons are still kind of on the track that they were, are they still with S.H.I.E.L.D.? They have three kids. <laughs> 
Yeah. They work really fast. They're actually they rabbits. Um, yes, they're they're very much in in relationship, uh, but with that, of course, comes some new challenges. Working together, loving each other, and living together. We don't know anything about that. Yeah, I was thinking. Um, it's not full from life in any way. <laughs> it's getting easier to write the scenes because we just write what happened last night. Yeah. <laughs> but usually that's like, you want to watch something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't buy yeah. <laughs> Can you tease anything about the life model? Um, well, yeah, I, I, I uh, no, but, but, you know, it's in there, and I think that we're going to slowly start to develop some very advanced technology this season, and, and, you know, maybe as that becomes more advanced and we have strange people with possessed people, maybe those things somehow merge down the line. Yeah, so we've dealt with, uh, normal people who want to be more than that on our show. Starting with Mike Peterson in season one, he wanted to be more than just a man. And he modified him, he was then modified. And with Coulson, he has a robotic hand. Then we meet Radcliffe, who is definitely into body modification. So this is just sort of a progression and extension of that. Yes, and and, and uh, John Hanna is a, is a regular this year. We, we love him uh, very, very much. Recurring. Recurring? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, he's recurring. All right. We'll talk, we'll go, we'll go talk about it. No, but, uh, um, yeah, but, you know, we're, we're big fans of his. Uh, we worked with him on Spartacus, and uh, uh, we love his dynamics. So we're going to see the side of him is trying to, you know, do better than he did last year. He feels he's, he's a good guy at heart, and, and uh, you know, we think we, he means well, so we, we want to see him sort of brought into the fold, and, and we think he'll bring good humor and stuff like that.